Hello dear fans. How to find the length of an edge of a pyramid. A pyramid is a shape that has a polygon base and side faces with vertices converging at the top. The boundaries of the side faces are called edges. But how to find the length of the edge of the pyramid. Instructions. Step 1. Find the endpoints of the edge you are looking for. Let it be points A and B. Step 2. Set the coordinates of points A and B. They need to be set in 3D, because pyramid is a three-dimensional figure. Get A, X1, Y1, Z1, and B, X2, Y2, Z2. Step 3. Calculate the required length using the general formula. The length of the edge of the pyramid is equal to the root of the sum of the squares of the differences of the corresponding coordinates of the boundary points. Plug in the numbers of your coordinates into the formula and find the length of the edge of the pyramid. In the same way, find the length of the edges of not only the regular pyramid, but also rectangular, and truncated, and arbitrary. Step 4. Find the length of an edge of a pyramid in which all edges are equal, the sides of the base of the figure are given, and the height is known. Determine the location of the base height, i.e. its bottom point. Since the edges are equal, it means that you can draw a circle, the center of which will be the point of intersection of the diagonals of the base. Step 5. Draw straight lines, connecting opposite corners of the base of the pyramid. Mark the point where they intersect. The same point will be the lower boundary of the pyramid's height. Step 6. Find the length of the diagonal of a rectangle using the Pythagorean theorem where the sum of the squares of the legs of a right triangle is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Get A2 plus B2 equals C2, where A and B are legs and C is hypotenuse. The hypotenuse will then be equal to the root of the sum of the squares of the legs. Step 7. Find the length of the edge of the pyramid. First, divide the length of the diagonal in half. Substitute all the data obtained into the Pythagorean formula described above. Similar to the previous example, find the root of the sum of the squares of the height of the pyramid and half of the diagonal. Thanks for watching.